Today I want to talk to you about what I consider to be a useless degree, and that is a bachelor's in entrepreneurship, because it's too vague. It doesn't teach you anything. If you're going to go to college, pay money to learn skills, and then go learn how to be an entrepreneur on your own. You don't need to pay tons of money to come to school and learn how to be your own boss. Like, look at this page. 100% placement rate, $58,400 average starting salary. My question becomes, if you went to school for entrepreneurship, and you want to be your own boss, who's paying you a salary? Are you working for someone? Doesn't look like that entrepreneurship degree really holding up, does it? These are the topics that you're going to learn in entrepreneurship. Here's a course description for one of the classes you have to take. The purpose of this class is to help you learn about entrepreneurship and the various ways in which it shapes their lives. Why do you need a class for this? To do so, the course engages students on three levels. First, students take a high-level conceptual look at entrepreneurship as a phenomenon and learn what it is, why it exists, and how it influences the fabric of everyday life. Do you guys want to pay thousands of dollars to learn that you can be your own boss and potentially dictate how you live your life? Second, students take a hands-on approach that is focused on teaching them to think like entrepreneurs. A hands-on approach to think. What skills do you have to make the product of your business? That's what I'm saying. You're not learning any of that in here. None at all. I'm not saying these things aren't important. What I'm saying is that you shouldn't have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to learn stuff that you can just read yourself for free. Now, what I think is particularly funny, if you don't take any classes, this is how much it costs to go to school. $1,100 to not even take any classes. If we come back over to this page for a second and we look at Explore the Major, they have a link that says Sample Resume, meaning this is what your credentials could look like if you go get a degree in entrepreneurship. So you manage the Adventure Gear makerspace on the floor with 100 residents. This sounds like... A regular retail job. Congratulations. Peer mentor for the first generation high school students. What are you mentoring? What skills do you have to mentor? Here we go. Notes are us. Created an app to enable community note taking and sharing with secured members. If you created an app, then where's the skills section talking about all the skills you needed to create that app? Because I'm not seeing any skills. And it's kind of making the point of the entire video here. You don't have to go to school for entrepreneurship to create an app. First Lego League competition pit judge at yearly qualifiers. Okay, you're a judge at a Lego competition. This, what does this have to do? Who are you making this resume for? You're an entrepreneur. You're going to employ yourself, right? So who are you giving this out to? So again, let's look at the price here. Calculate your investment. Let's, let's put in 15 credit hours, $5,000 a semester to go learn what? Parenting across cultures. You don't need any of this. Where are the skills? Where's the coding? Where's the engineering? Where's the practicality? Where are the things that you actually need to make a product or solve a problem? I'm not seeing any in here. I don't know how many times I have to say it. And I know it's definitely not worth $5,000 every six months. You're just going to be the guy that thinks they have a good idea, that makes the pitch deck to the venture capitalist investors, and then you'll go use that money to find people who are smart enough to do what you can't do make your business. So here's the video that is the promotion for the school and it's so tone deaf, look. Because this entire school runs like a business. Oh, there we go. At least they're honest in this video because the entire school is run like a business and damn, you can see that. All we gotta do is come up here and look at all these stupid fees that make no sense. The differential fee, the tuition zero hour fee. Surrounded by the next generation of agile business thinkers. The most useless type of business people. People who can't do anything but just think a lot and talk a lot, but have no skills. You want to be that? This is the kind of human capital that is changing the world. Human capital, yeah. Is the Eccles experience. Wait Where it. you do things and things get done. Wow, guys. Slogan of the year. YouTube, can you bring back the dislike button, please? So they have different themed floors at this startup building where all their business students can live if they want. For $11,000, you can live in a pod. The first floor is sustainability and global impact. The second floor is products and arts. The fourth floor is just Cabela's, I guess. The fifth floor is where, the, you know, the homies are going at night after class to go play League of Legends and stuff up there. But if you would like to live in a startup office and pay for the opportunity to do so, well, the University of Utah's Lasande Entrepreneur Institute would like to offer that to you. When you're 18 years old and you're thinking, I'm just going to make my own business and be my own boss, which is trending right now, you don't care about that money. You don't care about those student loans. You'll just say, rack them up. Yeah, put it on, put it on my student loans. I'll, I'll pay them back when I make my own business after I graduate. One thing I'd like to show you here are the success stories that the University of Utah has chosen to show us. So we have Aaron Persing, CEO of Call It Home. The entrepreneurship program helps you think like an entrepreneur. There are a lot of things that can help you think like an entrepreneur that don't cost thousands of dollars. This is it. 
This is Redfin. This is Zillow. If you wanted to make a website for real estate, you can do that without going to college for entrepreneurship. This website wasn't even made by the CEO. It was made by Utah SEO Pros, and it's powered by the ERM system, which I assume is a real estate API they can connect to to see properties. You don't have to go to college for entrepreneurship to do this. Again, this isn't a knock on the guy. Like, good for you making your own way in the world. You could have hired someone from Fiverr to make this for you. Or you could have spent two hours watching a YouTube tutorial to make this for yourself. We well, you didn't have to go to school and pay for this. Apparently at the school they hold workshops, and this is where they actually teach you the valuable stuff. Attend our many regular workshops covering a variety of topics, including coding. Finally, a skill. Video production. That's a skill. Public speaking. That's a skill. Intellectual property. That's good to know about. What you're paying for, what you're going to school for, isn't this. It's not the workshops. It's just this. These things have a place. I'm saying I just don't think it's worth paying five or six thousand dollars to learn these things from this school. I just feel like entrepreneurship is one of those hot buzzwords that's almost lost all meaning now because it's just like, come be your own boss. I'll work for myself. I'd rather grind 24 seven than work a nine to five. And I'm guilty of it too. I would prefer working for myself any day of the week, but I can recognize when people are trying to just market it. In my opinion, what I'm seeing here is just a degree that's marketed at t high school students who feel lost, but don't want to work a corporate job or go to the military. Well, now you have a degree in entrepreneurship, a bachelor's, I'm saying. A master's, hey, you, hopefully you already got a bachelor's with skills. Maybe it makes more sense for you to go do it now. But as your first degree, your first skill set that you're going to get that you're paying thousands for, it doesn't make any sense. It's a good idea degree. It's how to talk to other people about good ideas. We can all just fantasize about our great ideas because none of us have the skills to actually implement it. So we got to go raise money to give to people who are smart enough to make our business idea. But we'll get all the money and the prestige because it was our idea. That's the entrepreneurship degree is stupid. Waste of time. Go spend your money elsewhere. But hey, if that's not your main concern, if you don't actually care about getting a job and you're just going to college for the college experience, entrepreneurship probably seems like it'd be the place to ball out at, honestly. <laughs> Hang out with all your bros, come up with a bunch of great business ideas, make a PowerPoint, present it, get 500 bucks, go find some CS nerds to code it for you. Like, I can see it. Here's another one. We have Quincy Copeland over here. He's an analyst at Morgan Stanley. What happened to being your own boss? Why did you have to get a major in entrepreneurship? Because of the unlimited career path possibilities. And then you go work at Morgan Stanley? The entrepreneurship major gave me a complete paradigm shift in the types of opportunities I was granted access to while at school and since graduating. One of which was learning software development and computer programming through a tech startup called Nuvi. If you want to learn programming and software development, why didn't you do computer science? What I realistically think will happen if you go to school and get this degree and you don't end up making some company and now you're on your own by the end of it, most likely you'll end up working at one of those jobs where on the application it says bachelor's degree required. It doesn't say what type of degree, it just says bachelor's required. You just have to check the box. Ultimately, this degree becomes one of those check the box degrees because you don't have any real skills. Related courses, advertising management, digital marketing, created a WordPress website. That's not what? Digital marketing. Okay, talk to me about Google Analytics. Talk to me about all that stuff. Nope. Just created a WordPress website. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Facilitate monthly activities to inspire innovation. Wow, you paid a bunch of money to facilitate monthly activities and inspire innovation. Collaboration and creativity. It's just like the startup videos, guys. You can't have innovation without the other two buzzwords. It's got to be the three. Innovation, collaboration, and creativity. We foster that environment here. Dude, that's what they all say. Copy, paste. I feel like the only exception to this degree, and even then I think it's stupid to pay this much money for it, would be if you already have like a side business and you're in high school at the end and you, your parents are like, hey, go to college. You're like, all right, I guess I'll just do entrepreneurship since I already have my business. That, that would sort of make sense. But if you have nothing and you have no idea what you want to do or who you want to be, but you know you want to own a business, don't do this degree. You will just be in student debt. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. If you have any ideas for degrees you want me to roast, you can link them down in the comments below. Or if you want to send me an email, you can. I have all the info. I hope you guys have a good week, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.